Hey, welcome back to this new episode on the podcast. Let's talk Ari podcast, our YouTube channel. My name is Aria D. Juiced, um, aka Juice. Let's jump right into this topic. So basically, this is going to be about um, how should I say this? This is really me trying to help clear up the confusion with um, people having this idea that just because you are someone that chose not to eat meat or any type of animal protein, you are automatically a vegan. I'll say that one more time. <clears throat> There's a lot of people um, who have this idea assuming just because someone doesn't eat animals, um, they're automatically a vegan, and that's just not true. So why am I talking about this? Well, clearly you read the title. Um, a YouTuber by the name of Vegan Deterioration released a video a couple months ago, and I'm so late to this topic, but... I'm not late to it because I just, you know, I don't, I don't follow her channel like this. I don't really, I, I don't know. But I just bumped into this video today and I saw she was talking about this one um, so-called vegan person by the name of Raw Vegan um, Kill D. Larson. Sorry about the dogs. Yeah, she's, she, she's just going crazy right now. Let me just close the door. One second. Oh my God. All right. All right, so like I said, this video um, is about um, you know this confusion of people assuming just because somebody doesn't eat animals for um, you know food, they're automatically labeled a vegan, and that's just silly because that's just that shows how uneducated some people are, and they just put out these types of information online and confuse their whole audience, and that's just so common. So this one YouTuber by the name of Vegan Deterioration. She does that a lot. She is extremely uneducated on veganism. She is um, someone that claims to be an ex-vegan, which is, I don't know what that even means. <laughs> it means you were never vegan in the first place. That, that's what it means. It's, it's not to bash this person, but it's just it shows you how they're just not educated enough on what it, it means to be vegan. Now, I'll just say this. Now, a vegan person... As someone that believes hurting animals is wrong. That's it. They eat everything and everything. It's as long as it doesn't contain animal protein. That's that that's a vegan, literally. They don't wear, um, use, or consume animals for human gains. That's a vegan. So someone that's a fruitarian or I don't know, a, a, a raw this and raw that. Those are not vegans. Those aren't anything but a vegan. That's just someone that wants to be on a strict diet, and that's their business. That that's their you know their their life, and that's what they want to do. Do you basically? But they're not vegans. So, vegan deterioration released a video five months ago um, regarding a person by the name of Vegan Raw or Raw Vegan Hildy Larson. Hope I said her name correctly. And she passed away by age fifty something, super young, right? And, you know, my heart goes out to her family. It's a very sad situation. So, um, yeah, Vegan Deterioration released a video about this person. And she she she's keep putting out this, this this idea to her audience. Who are also super uneducated on, on veganism. I read the comments. A lot of these people are so uneducated. They don't know what they're talking about when it comes to veganism. Nothing. But um, Vegan Deterioration assumes that... Hildy Larson is a vegan and she's not. The woman was a fruitier. I don't know. That's what she was doing, right? And it's not to bash Hildy Larson whatsoever. Excuse the noise. I'm so sorry. But um yeah, this this um this YouTuber vegan deterioration uh, assumed automatically that this person, Hildy Larson, hope I said her name right. Sorry if I butchered it. But she's putting out this this false claim that this person was a vegan and she is clearly not and that just makes a lot of people assume this is what vegan people do on these strict crazy diets fruitarians raw this raw that you know and it's not to bash anyone that wants to do that like by all means it's your life as an adult do what you do but they're not vegan people they're just on strict diets and that's their business but people think that's what veganism is and it's not I eat pizza, burgers, hell, ice cream, cookies, and I eat healthy at the same time as well, right? 
Um, but I'm not on a crazy straight diet. I eat everything besides it being, <clears throat> excuse me, having animal protein. That's how I do it, right? Um, now, I, I will say this. My diet is leaning towards a way healthier choice than the opposite. I don't eat junk food every single day, fast food. That's not me. I don't drink sodas every single day. That's just not what I do. And soda is vegan. You know, Coca-Cola or Pepsi are vegan products because they don't contain any animal, you know, uh, ingredients. Even the Oreo cookie is considered vegan. See what I mean? So I eat these things and I drink soda. You know, I'm not the health, I'm not some health nut. I just don't want to use animals, you know, when I'm enjoying my food. I don't think I need to do that. And that's just how I look at it. You know, but that's what a vegan is. They just, they be, vegans are people who believe hurting animals or using them for services or testing on them or, you know, um, going to SeaWorld and seeing them do these crazy, ridiculous um, tricks for people. That's a vegan. We, they believe hurting animals is so terrible. And I, I believe that myself. You, I, you heard my dogs. I have dogs, right? I have pets. And I don't want to hurt them. They're they're individuals just like us. They have feelings. They have a nervous system. We 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 know this. We know cats and dogs are. They have feelings too. The same thing applies to a cow, pig, chicken. It's the same thing. They all they're also individuals as well. But we but we're not taught this. We're taught that these are, you know, farm animals. We have to eat them. Way off topic. I love them. <laughs> they bark all the time. But my wife is out there with them. Is everything okay? All right, whatever. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm not here to bash anybody. Um, again, I'm not here to insult no one. So if me calling you uneducated is insulting to you, I do apologize. But at the same time, you have to really know what you're talking about if you're going to put out this kind of information when it comes to veganism. Because if you're saying flat out that someone like Larson or Hildy Larson was a vegan, no, she's not. And by you saying that is a clear sign that you absolutely don't know what you're talking about. And it's embarrassing. You don't know what you're talking about. Even someone like Raw Christina, like same thing. And that's that's her choice of, you know, food choices. That's her diet. I'm not going to do it. But it's not to bash what she's doing. But that's her choice on how she wants to eat. Don't label her a vegan because of her food choices. That's just fact, Right? And if she calls herself vegan, that's okay too, whatever. But I will say to anyone that calls themselves vegan to do more research on the term before just labeling yourself this if you're not really living that lifestyle. I really do live that lifestyle. I'm not perfect, right? I'm not some perfect vegan. Like I'm always eating the correct food. Sometimes I may order something that may have some animal products in it, in it that I'm not aware of and I ate it, right? Now you may call me a bad person because I'm not vegan, but I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm so worried that I live in a city where it's not so vegan friendly. Now there's some restaurants here and there, of course, but they may use the same utensils to cut something up that's vegan with a non-vegan product. Like these things happen. I'm aware of it, right? But if I if I have a choice, I much rather choose something that doesn't contain animal parts or that's going to use an animal for my gains. I must choose that. That's the vegan in me. I don't like to use it. Animals in this society, in Western countries, Mexico, America, Canada, we could do without harming animals for us to have a healthy, fun lifestyle. We could still be, you know, healthy, eat so well, have fun lives without, harm, without harming an animal. That's why I very much love living, how, how, I, how I like to live my life that way it makes sense to me right now i understand other countries they don't they may not have those luxuries like we do here in america or third world country or third world countries or western countries i'm aware of that that's why i'm speaking about us americans we do not need to do this anymore we just don't need to do this this is not 1940s 30s there's too much data science proof that we do not need to consume animals to be healthy protein it's stupid to even think that Today, it shows how you are so uneducated. Like mammals don't need to eat meat. Now, of course, lions and tigers, different stories, they're carnivores, right? But humans can live without eating meat. 
It's been six, almost seven years of me not doing this, and I'm, I'm, I feel awesome. I feel great. I'm 38 years old, first of all. I'm a 38-year-old man, married, first of all, happily married. And I feel great. I feel awesome. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I do know. I do know that there's, there's a lot of people who are not educated enough and they're speaking and putting out this false information on veganism, labeling people vegans who are not really vegans, like someone as, or like Hilda, Hilde Larson. She's a fruitarian. That has nothing to do with veganism. Zero. Rest in peace to this person. Not to bash, rest in peace to her. And my condolences do, does go out to her family. But she was not a vegan. She's a fruitarian. That's anything but a vegan. If she were a vegan, she'll consume foods that I eat. Right? Um, she will consume unhealthy choices like cookies and cupcakes and all these things. I eat these things. Not every day, obviously. I even drink beer every now and then. That just shows you I'm not some health nut. But that shows you that I can still enjoy these amazing foods without using the animal. And that's all veganism is. Do more research. And if you would like for me to send you some information more on veganism, I have no problem doing that. Just leave me a comment. I have a podcast about this type of these types of topics. Um, I'll leave the link to the podcast down below in this video. The website is available. I have a, a email newsletter to all the members to, to keep them in touch or to keep them in, keep them in the loop of everything with the podcast with new episodes on this channel. Because I think it's really important to kind of know what's going on in today's world. And the first thing is to realize that a lot of these companies who claim to have our best interests, these food companies, are straight up lying to us, claiming we need to we need to eat more protein to be healthy. It's only making you sicker. Animal protein that they you know claim we need to consume every single day. It is straight up false information. It's making us sicker and fatter. And guess who's making all the money? These food companies, off our ignorance. So once again, it's not to bash anybody. It's just to really get out this information that, you know, a lot of people who claim to be vegan are not really vegan. They're anything but that. And channels like Vegan Deterioration puts out this false information to her audience and just to the public claiming these people are vegans and they're not. They're simply not. I don't know. Thanks for watching this video. Much love to you. Be safe out there. I'll be back with more of this type of topic because I think it's really important to get out this word and just just inform people on you know proper information. Um, again, if you need more information on this type of topic, let me know. I'll be more uh, than happy to share some more information with you. I work with some really cool people who specialize in helping people transition to a vegan lifestyle properly with proper education and proper training. All right? That's what people need proper education. Educate yourself before speaking, please. I'm out. Peace out. Much love.